Hi everybody, it's Julia from Massage by Julia and in today's video I want to talk to you about in a perfect world what is the ideal treatment for lymphedema. So I'm going to run through this list that I've created really quick. Ideally your oncology doctor or your vascular surgeon is going to talk to you about what lymphedema is and he or she is going to refer you to a clinic or a therapist office so you're going to know where to go for some help and again ideally you're going to go to start with daily to see your certified lymphedema therapist CLT they have these letters after their name uh, for two up to approximately eight weeks and during these daily visits five days, six days, preferably seven days a week, the therapist is going to measure you, let's say it's your arm that's involved or a leg, you can have lymphedema uh, in the trunk, face, wherever, but they're going to measure you at intervals, they're going to do MLD, which is manual lymphatic drainage therapy. Um, it's a very gentle, repetitive stretching and releasing of the skin in different places on the body to try to speed up the movement of the lymph fluid and get it to come and drain here at the throat. Um, that is the goal of that over these several weeks is to decrease your limb volume. So again, your limb, if your arm or leg is involved, we want to get the size of it down as much as possible. They also will spend time wrapping and bandaging you, and I brought some samples. For example, they might wrap a leg, cut some gray foam, and wrap your leg with some pieces of gray foam. They also use all kinds of different sizes and types of foam, or of uh, wraps and bandages, like this. You might see these. It's quite an extensive process. And then you're probably more familiar with ACE bandages, lots and lots of wrapping and wrapping. And even uh, we sometimes cut the foam pieces. These, for example, would go on uh, the two ankle bones. So it gets rid of like the pointed surfaces and makes it more comfortable once all the wraps are on. Protects the skin. So you've got that going on, and then they give you tips on diet, exercise, uh, to elevate your arm or leg to help to counteract gravity, infection prevention, and things like avoiding jacuzzis and saunas. They go over all of this with you, and also teach you self-MLD, how to do a short sequence of manual lymphatic drainage therapy on yourself at home. So again, that's ideally you're going to see this therapist, this certified lymphedema therapist every single day until we get the limb volume down. And when the, the size of your limb or body part kind of steadies, flattens out, it's not getting smaller, then you go on what's called maintenance for the rest of your life. You're the maintenance phase. So you've got your daytime compression let's say the stretchy sleeve or your capris uh, different stretchy wraps okay um, nighttime garment and i have an example here this is a sleeve that somebody might wear and there's a cutout here for the thumb okay so they put this on at night it's thick it's quilted and these channels that are sewn in help the lymph flow up the arm so the lymph can drain in its proper place at the armpit or come up the side and around the shoulder to drain here at the subclavian veins. Those are options. And again, you would continue your home care every day, the exercise and dropping of the weight if possible. Um, even a few pounds really helps the lymphedema and the pain and the stiffness. And you would do, of course, your self-MLD and elevation of the limb. And again, ideally, you would hire a certified manual lymphatic drainage therapist or a certified lymphedema therapist to come to your home 
twice a week to do the MLD lymphatic drainage therapy on you, ideally. Um, another option in an ideal world is everybody would be qualified to have surgery, which is not the case, but this is in a perfect world. Then the types of surgeries right now uh, involve taking a lymph node, we write Ellen, a lymph node from a healthy part of the body and putting it to where yours are blocked, the area where yours are blocked, and so that'll help increase your lymph flow. Another surgery is they'll take a piece of the lymph vessel from a healthy part and putting it in the area that's blocked to start up the lymph flow. Or a bypass. So for example, if you have a little section of your lymphatic vessel that's um, just not working for some reason, but it's healthy uh, below it and above it, then they'll do a little bypass through surgery around the part that's not working. So those are the surgeries that are available right now. And ideally everybody would be a candidate and the doctors who do this would be numerous, but we're getting there. Finally, I just wanted to end with some resources you could go to. One is a place where you can find a therapist, certified therapist, instagram.com slash lymphatic professionals or NLN, the National Lymphedema Network, has a lot of information on their website. LANA, Lymphology Association of North America. LEARN, it's L-E ampersand R-N. Lymphatic Education and Research Network, they have a lot of information on their website as well. And also for support, you might want to look into some Facebook groups. There are a lot of groups for uh, different ages of people who have lymphedema, people with lymphedema who are uh, exercisers. It's like a, a group you can get together online and um, post your information about what you've done for exercise. You can ask each other questions and really get a lot of support. So look on Facebook too. There's a lot of good groups on there. So in an ideal world, this is how you take care of your lymphedema.